Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. Hope you all are doing good. And uh, I, uh, I am going to cook something. So I thought maybe I'll make a video. Uh, you might have seen me cooking uh, something similar before, but I'm not sure. So I thought maybe uh, it's a new day. It's been a while. So I do some cooking and it's Sunday and you can see the weather quite good outside. It's sunny, it's bright and it's long days. So I really like prefer the long days. Uh, so coming back to what I'm going to be cooking. Um, I've got this Tariq Halal meat as you can see this I got from local Sainsbury uh, the Sainsbury which I have near my home uh, they have a halal section the uh, the fresh one as well as the frozen ones as you can see this is fresh which means that this is in the refrigerator not in the frozen one uh, so you can get it and the expiry is 17 uh, so today the, the day when I'm making the video today it's uh, I think so if I'm not mistaken it's 12th but you can see uh, you can check that it's Sunday uh, so this pack is uh, I think so usually it's 600 grams and 350 uh, but today it was on uh, like uh, they had put it on offer for three pound uh, which is not bad like uh, in six pound you get uh, uh, 1200 grams which is quite reasonable and these are Thai pieces so that's the thing these are Thai fillet not the uh, breast fillet because the uh, good thing about the thigh fillet is that they are more juicy they are more soft because chest pieces are comparatively have a uh, thread in them so they are not that uh, so it's quite good like not too much fat you can see a little bit fat but in uh, in general they are quite clean pieces so i just need to wash them and i'll use them to cook so this will be the main dish where i'm going to be cooking and i am making chicken donor kebab at home and this is the bread which i will be using uh nearby like we don't have any proper tanur or something from where you can get fresh naans or better naans uh in sainsbury tesco everywhere you can find naan bread uh but after trying all of them uh, so far the best one which i like personally was this one this is greek style fl uh, flatbread and you find it at sainsbury so these are four beds of you can see the size almost of my hand if i put my hand along with my palm so this is the size of one bread so uh, even like this i took it out from the freezer but you get it uh, they are fresh but what i do is i get few of them put in the freezer and when i want to eat a naan or a craving for that i eat it and this is shown as a as a, a shawarma or as a donor kebab as well over there so this is the bread i'm going to be using so i put it so that it get defrosted and i'm going to use it for that uh, other than that i will be cutting some salad uh to to eat with uh, the chicken and so let me marry uh, like uh, clean it wash it and start preparing it and then we'll see what i uh, end up with and in the in the in the whole process i'll be making small videos in uh, to show you the process so let me start with the washing of the thigh pieces okay so this is the chicken i've just washed it i've not broken it up it's still the fillet size okay i've not made it into small pieces i just added the salt and i thought maybe i should show you i will be adding some of the garlic powder and some of the paprika okay and a little bit of chili and the last thing would be if i can find okay let me have a look 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 yeah that's the one i'm looking for so chili powder so this will be the main ingredient i gotta marinate it and once it's done I initially i was thinking i'd make it into cubes and cut it but then i have changed the plan so i gotta be making it on tawa so i'm gonna use instead of that i'm gonna use tawa a little bit of oiling or on the tawa and i'm gonna quickly cook it like a, like a steak and then i'm gonna uh, make them in pieces and then i'll add the sauces um so yeah that's the plan so i'm gonna be i've shown you the ingredients salt garlic powder chili powder paprika and chili flakes and uh, what I am having actually my, my son was eating so I'm having a very nice red color strawberries as you can see they were quite few big pieces as well uh, there are if I can show you so this is you can see the size so it's a very big uh, strawberry if I may show you compared to my finger uh, so they have got uh, in Sainsbury 
they have got mixed pack and this is one mm. of them and some of them are quite big and you can see it's uh, something like this so it's uh, two more than two inches big the strawberry is so that i'm having right now because my son ate uh, we opened one pack and this is the leftover he gave me so i'm enjoying that so i'll i'll make the rest of the video once i go to the next step after marination i start cooking okay so you can see the chicken is in front of me and it's now more reddish and you can see that it has got marinated so i mixed uh, i added all the spices and i mixed it so it depends what you want to do and i've done a bit of oiling now okay i used uh this thing okay brush to uh, to make the oil all over the tawa because i i'm going to cook it over tawa and so i'm taking as it is the pieces so this is this much thick it's not too thick because it's it's a thigh piece it's not a breast piece so i'm gonna put one piece here and a second piece here i've not taken the fat off the whatever the fat was i have kept it on it because i don't think so it's gonna harm that much it's good to have a little bit of fat because uh, i'm not making or uh, deep frying or something so whatever the fat is it it will uh, it will be good to keep it on it so that it remains more moist so there are only these pieces left so can we try to move yeah, we can try to manage it maybe a little bit squeeze squeezing everything so that i don't have to wait for too long so there are one, two, three, four, five. Basically, it seems like there are five Thai pieces in 600 grams of uh, this uh, chicken, boneless chicken fillet, which I got. And, uh, and hopefully, let's see uh, this how it goes because I don't think so. I've ever cooked in a way that I have cooked the full pieces first and then break uh, uh, break uh, uh, broken it into small chunks because i think it will make more sense uh because it will remain more juicy if you are cooking small pieces then they can get more dry this way because if you are cooking the whole piece in one go it will be more juicy so let's wait once it gets cooked uh, i will flip it up and then show you the rest okay so i flipped it once as you can see it's partially cooked now the color has started to change although my wife usually says that i flip too much but i don't know that's how i am uh, i cannot resist things flipping again and again so i let it uh, get cooked this time and then i will wait for the last time to cook this side again because some of this like you can see here and here these are uncooked because they are in different like the chunks of shape uh, they are not flat which is like that so so that's why this one has remained uncooked but it doesn't matter if you can it will hardly take five ten minutes and everything will be cooked okay so i turned on the light i was feeling that it was a bit dark so as you can see that i've flipped it now and the chicken is getting ready the smell the aroma is quite good here you can see this part is still uncooked but hopefully i'll make sure all of it gets cooked properly uh, by the time i take it off completely but the aroma of this they are basic spice but i'm already having a water in my mouth and it smells like actually when you pass from a donut kebab shop uh, it already smells like that i don't know why okay so the chicken is still cooking and just to let you know so you can see a lot of oil uh, substance over there and just to confirm i not, did not add anything the only in the start what i showed you that i the oil i used uh, to cover the tawa so that it does not stick after that i have not added a single drop of oil and this is so you heard my fire alarm got uh, uh, beeped because of the smoke it's although it's not that much but somehow it started um, alarming so i've stopped it now and i've opened the window uh, so you can see uh, the oil it has produced it's due to the natural fat which it, uh, it had so so the, you don't need to add anything the oil just i use so that it does not stick on the fry pan in the first instance that's it so let me flip it
so you can hear there is lots of pipping noise uh, because the water and the fat content is coming out of uh, the thigh pieces again these are thigh uh, pieces not the breast so they will be very juicy very soft uh, and hopefully uh, I added I showed you the ingredients as well I just added the basic ingredient so even you can say this is I'm making steak as well so chicken steak with thigh pieces because I like thigh pieces more than uh, the breast piece uh, I find it that a bit dry or if you have to use the breast piece pound it first uh, with a hammer which I have shown as well previously this is the hammer like it has got kind of nails at one end you see and you once you pound it you basically try you break the threads of the uh, breast piece and that makes it juicy so hopefully this will be done very soon and I will be taking off the chicken because it seems almost ready because this was previously red and that it seems cooked now as well so I will check have a last so just showing you so I'm taking the pieces one by one off and I'm making them into small slices as you can see so this is like I'm just cutting them whatever uh, however they are so some are thick some are thin but uh, and this is another piece so i will be cutting all of them uh, like this and once they cut and get cooked you see they that previously they were quite big pieces so all the water gets drained and they get shrunk but that's the thing they are still quite juicy as you can see if uh, i may focus properly let's wait and if it's struggling to focus i don't know why hmm okay let me try again okay it shows better and if I squeeze it you can see it's quite juicy and quite soft so even this one so that's the thing that uh, the thigh pieces doesn't have threads like uh, chest piece and so I'm gonna be making all of them cut into small dice so we are coming to the end uh, of the video so I have diced all the chicken as you can see in front of me so this is the thigh so these are the Greek bread which I told you so you can see the size from my palm so they are not too small they are not too big they are decent size and they are quite good they are the, the thickness is this much which i usually like so this is the front part so if i flip it it's also the same way and this is called the greek bread and i get it from sainsbury i've not seen it anywhere else fro or greek style bread and they are better than most of the naans which i've found so far near uh, near me and uh, so these are the platters which i'm making for myself and my son uh, so we're gonna eat so you can see i, I got these fancy dishes from pakistan from my wife uh, from my mother uh, so she had got these dishes they are uh, what you call glass or i know ceramic kind of and so i've got some salad some salad and some sauces and some chicken already added and so these are the naan breads which i'm going to be eating with them so hopefully so they were frozen by the time like th this is already you can see it's soft so within 15 minutes it should have been 15 20 minutes since i started cooking and took them out of the freezer so i just dipped them and uh, took them out so i'm not burned them uh, they look like that but you see but it looks bad but it's not because it's quite good if there is no taste of burning or something so hopefully they will be ready shortly i'm not even watched the tawa i'm using the same tawa that uh, there is no harm if the flavor of the chicken the oil comes into the naan bread i don't mind that so so that's why i'm using the same tawa which i used to cook the chicken so you can see it's uh, it's quite quick it uh, doesn't require lots of uh, masalas or something but yes you need to add a little bit of sauces in order to make it look like that uh, so always remember to do the two basic sauce uh, or three sauces which you need one is ketchup one is uh, garlic mayo and the third one is some kind of a chili sauce so as long as you have got these three sauces you can have any flavor you want so almost it's ready let me uh, put it because these naans are almost ready so let me make a platter for my son and i'm just making two platters because my wife is has not been feeling well and that is the reason one of the reason that i'm cooking today and uh, my younger son he already ate something so he won't be eating that but if he wants uh, we can share the quantity is good enough we still have got lots of chicken and i've got more bread in the freezer as well 
so this is the final look of the platter as you can see uh, unfortunately my battery is too low to um, make uh, a flash a to turn on the light and uh, make make it show you more neatly but you can see how nice it looks it looks yummy so we are going to have one and a half naan bread and i use this kind of plate to look more yummy delicious i would say so hope you like the video if like please do subscribe and share i gonna um, still i need to make a naan for this platter and then we're gonna be eating and enjoying the food thanks for watching take care allah hafiz bye bye and assalamu alaikum and if you want to know anything let me know i'm becoming expert in uk now thank you allah hafiz